Hello, this is Frontline here, and welcome back to Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. In the last episode, we nearly died. As you can see, our health is almost gone now. And uh, as I can see, I don't see any water fountains that can replenish our health. But you know what? That's alright. We'll find them eventually. Honestly, it will just provide us another challenge that we will have to face throughout this place. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and repeat the vision, showing us what kind of puzzles are to come. But it's like, uh, one thing I want to quickly mention is that my whole entire uh, recording setup is a little bit different now. Uh, now I have uh, new hardware that allows me to actually hear the sound through uh, my headphones. And that makes it so that it doesn't have to go through the TV. And uh, then there's no uh, weird audio backlog from the microphone that's coming through. I'm just able to all hear it here without it actually being present to, on the TV. So anyway, lots of different puzzles there. I recognize them all. It's like, I definitely like this game. It's uh, one I've played quite a bit when I was younger. Alright, so now we're able to go over here. Climb up. See if we can go across the wall. Boom. See, I, I some of these puzzles I can just do by slight memory. I mean, not full memory. It's not like I know all of it. Boom! There's water right there. That solves all of our problems. Have to drink a lot of that because we really messed up last time. I was just trying to do show-offy combat skills that ended up nearly killing us. So, if I go over here, then there's even more water, water, drinky stuff. Because it seems like it's a secret area. See, I almost went up that ladder and then we would have never actually learned about this place. But there we go. Yeah, with the headphones set up, that means that I can actually have the audio a little louder in my headphones. And I'll actually hear when people are talking. And when I should probably stop talking myself. In the past, I've kind of not been able to hear. Boom, upgrade. Anything that way? Nope, nothing that way. See if we can go over it. No, we can't. <laughs> I was hoping we could just, like, go around it or something like that. That's kind of why we have the Sands of Time. You can experiment a tiny bit whenever you're uh, in the middle of a puzzle. Except in that case, that case was kind of dumb. That was also dumb. You know what? Maybe we shouldn't use up all of our sand. Because <laughs> I was trying to run on the wall and accidentally pressed the wrong trigger because of it. I think we should just be able to continue and go through the door. Yep, door's open. Door's still, still technically open if we want to go through. <laughs> Ooh, Ferris here. Hello. Do you want to say anything? Try not to get separated again, shall we? Psst. It's so quiet out there. It's terrible. But also beautiful. Maybe to you. Look! <laughs> well, let's try not to get separated again. <laughs> she immediately goes through a tiny crack in the wall. You're a skinny little thing. <laughs> Alright, I guess there is some excuse to it. What is this place? We'll need to find a way down to the bottom. This palace is like just full of weird puzzles that somehow add to the security of the place. Stay there. Are you sure can you can't run on walls? As long as we don't go into those, we'll probably be all right. I'll just wait here 
here then. Shall I? It's not my fault. I need to solve puzzles before we can get all the way down there. Nope. Okay, that was dumb. I will admit that was kind of my fault. There we go. Where are we? Oh, we're in the same place again. Is there any... Oh, yeah, we probably just have to backtrack. It's kind of interesting, like, these puzzles that just kind of make you go through the same place, and yet they're right? just a little bit of a different I puzzle. Strange noises. <laughs> no permanent damage, thank you. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about that. Let's go There's over here for a second. Do you think you can reach it? I can reach anything. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> there we go. I've got it. Your turn now. <laughs> some puzzles are meant for one, some are meant for two. Just depends on who's in the story at the time. <laughs> Yeah, this part's definitely just a lot of back and forth. I feel like it would have been nicer if they just built normal staircases or something. I can reach this one. I don't know what kind of a level of security they need if they have to have all of this, like lever pulling and figuring all this out. Boom. Last one's pulled now. <laughs> yeah, Stay there. We'll quite reach that. Ah, so now we can replenish our sand. Where do we jump from here? We can jump to there. <laughs> Whoa. Yep, wait, why did I put my sword away? Yep. There, block. Yep. Let's gather some more sand. Let's try not to randomly die this time. <laughs> yep. I didn't really mean to do that. I just kind of meant to... And there we go. Okay. But yeah, that one guy with a hammer actually has a really interesting attack. He apparently is able to, uh, like, step, or not step, but it's like use his hammer on your feet so that he doesn't even have to attack through your block. He just kind of attacks underneath you. Uh, that guy doesn't like uh, having the whole entire magic trick used on him. He just blocks it, just like the uh, tall, skinny women and some other enemies. Let's see if we can bypass it by going on the wall. We can't. Okay. Oh, there's a trick I can use with my like sand tanks, but I'm not sure if I want to right now. Because I feel like it'd be a waste of an attack. I think I just have to hit these guys. I don't know how what other moves I can do. Maybe just get him onto the ground? Yeah, okay, there we go. Bam. Maybe we can get some water in the meantime. Whoosh. I don't know, I almost want to use my special. Boom, there we go. It's like basically I just hold down both triggers at the same time. And then I am able to just like kind of whoosh around all over the place without having to uh, do anything else. I don't see any more enemies. There is another one. Okay, there we go. You can only do it for a certain amount of time, but it takes up all of those special sand tanks over on the side there. 
which isn't a bother because I think there's a sand cloud right there. Yep, we'll be able to refill our sand right at the end of this. We need a way of getting up there. I think we have to move boxes to do that because, yeah, we can't actually reach that platform quite yet. Haven't we completed enough puzzles already? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just try to move the boxes over this way. And then we'll reach the save point. Uh, it takes such a long time to move these. Okay. I'm going to get sand cloud now, just because I'm over here. Boom. All filled up. Where's the other box? There's technically supposed to be another box. Am I able to just jump from here? I'm betting I can just jump from... No, I can't. Never mind. <laughs> I was wondering if I could, but I can't. Ah, I do need a second box. I was thinking maybe it would like go on a weird timer or something. I'd just be able to stand on it and wait for me to go right up that platform. Yeah, this was just a sneaky box around the corner. Push it over here. Oh, that's too many puzzles for one day. Oh no, please be careful. Psst, really? These sand clouds aren't that bad, or these vision clouds out, even though. I've played this game like 10 times, and I still don't even know all of the lore to this. <laughs> Yes, of course I want to save the game. I'll start the story from here. Right, there we go. Not too much interest in that little vision. Oh yeah. I'm not going to stop going into those places. Those are my save points. So anyway, I'm able to just kind of go up here. Actually, I'm wondering if I could bypass this thing. Like, I'm not sure if this platform only raised just now, or if it only raises after you've gone through the uh, vision cloud. Oh, I probably should have actually gone through the door instead of talking about it. All right, let's activate it again. It only works off of a timer, so now we actually got rush right on down there. Boom, haha. <laughs> Just in the nick of time. <laughs> we had a lot more time than the game gave us credit for. <laughs> Was there anything behind me I missed? Okay, no. Sometimes I uh, think that the game has secrets where it doesn't expect you to go. Like that there'd be random uh, sand clouds where you're not looking. The Sultan's Zoo. See, because there's like a sand cloud right where you'd probably walk past if it didn't show you it right there. Huh. Thing is, if I collect more of these sand clouds, that means that I'll get a new tank. And every time you get a new tank, I think you actually aren't able to use your special ability that I showed earlier because you won't have all of the uh, little things on the side to give you that power. Yep. Boop. Oh my, there's a lot of them. Can you knock down that guy? I cannot see. I cannot see the sequences that are going on right now. Okay, yeah, I need a help there. I keep pressing the wrong button. That was weird. Okay. Eh. Yeah, go this way. Boom. Yep. There we go. Boom, boom. Get that guy. Make sure none attack me. Yeah, I'd technically be able to use my special. I probably should have waited to get that sand cloud now that I think about it. Because now I'd be able to use it in this, uh, like, uh, fight sequence. Boom. 
I think Fairy heals up over time because I think her health just went up right then. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently that's difficult enough of a sequence to give us a save right afterward. All right, so now we have the actually important visions that kind of tell us that we're going to crawl up the uh, place. Like the uh, bird cage, I think it is. Which kind of reminds me, I think this is the first time we're going to actually see sand birds. Okay, I was wondering, it's like, was there any point in climbing up here? And it's like, yeah, there's a little branch right here I made bull swing right off of. So there we go, now I actually have a little thing from, yep, right there, vultures. I don't think they did survive. <laughs> yeah, now they're sand vultures. Yep, yeah, that was mean. <laughs> Huh. I'm not able to block until they're actually like right in front of me, which is really weird. And the other vulture, I just kind of have to wait for it to come down to me. Fair shot one down. It's really hard to see them from this angle. Okay, I, I can work with this. I didn't even shoot that one. Maybe if I was in first person, I could just look up at them. I mean, those are the different cameras. Technically, they were programmed into the game to be used, but they're not really used that often. Then she'll probably pop out on this side. Yep, there she is. Here I am. I have a lever. There's another path. I'll see where it goes. The fabled menagerie of Azad, the Sultan's pride and joy. It had been one of the wonders of the world. As a child, I dreamed of it and longed to see it with my own eyes. Now it was a place of terror. An abandoned ruin laid waste by the sands of time. Here I am. I actually still don't see. Or er, is that was that crack where Farrah just emerged from? I mean, there is a crack here, but oh, oh, there she is. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll climb up here now. Kind of interesting. It almost sounds like a. Uh, if, like, the game wasn't called The Sands of Time, it almost seems as though what the prince's phrasing was, like, uh, this place was laid to waste by the sands of time. It's like, really, that phrase almost makes sense, even on its own. Like, over time, this place grew moss and became really old now. Hmm. Did I actually lose health right then? I'm not sure if it matters. I was trying to get onto the ladder, see if there was a shortcut, but there wasn't. So I guess we're just going to have to climb up here like this. There we go. Now onto the ladder. Camera kind of tells you where to go once you get to a certain place, which is nice. Okay, you know, I'm just going to rewind time. I don't care. Walk all the way back. There. Where do I go now? Over there. Boom. Puzzle solved. We'll see when the actual next save point is. Hasn't been too much story in this episode, mainly puzzles. <laughs> The only story we got was that this used to be a 
like a uh, eighth wonder of the world until it got destroyed by the sands of time. There we go. Oh, the door opened. Is this timed or does it just stay in place? It seems like it stays in place, so hopefully we won't have to worry about it. Oh, I'm surprised I made that jump, but I also kind of didn't in some ways. Anyway, this is probably going to be the last vision that we're going to see. All of this is basically just a preview that you're going to have to see in the next episode. It's going to be literally a cliffhanger. Ah, that was actually, that actually timed out really well with the vision right there. Okay, so hopefully not everything in those sand visions are set in stone and we can actually change the future, but who knows. <laughs> Maybe I'll just like die anyway just to see what happens. <laughs> I don't think anything will happen other than a game over in all honesty, but it still would be kind of funny. But anyway, that's really been this episode. You'll have to look forward to that in the next. But anyway, this has been Frontline, and I will see you guys later. Bye. The whole entire thing with this course is that if you fall off, you die. And apparently I'm not doing very well while recording here. But yeah, the cool thing about NASCAR, it's like the uh, twist I put onto it was that you're in ghosts and there's a bunch of landmines and you're able to like shoot your opponents. Just barely see exactly where all of these things are.